person, a grown man screaming for yeah. help. I don't blame them. That they was can a laugh goat. because everyone's okay. Yes, that's That was good. a goat, not goat boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the boy who cried goat. Yes, that's right. Uh, you know, this, it makes you wonder, okay, so if you hear that again, you got to make sure to investigate it because yeah. if somebody really is crying help. You're probably yeah. not thinking goat first. You're no. probably thinking human. So. No. Uh, Have you ever had a stuff. cat? That was pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that was crying. a good story. Yeah. Now, that is terrifying. A cat crying outside sounds like a baby. <laughs> anyway, yes. I've had an experience with that in college. Anyway. Uh, Oh, okay, guys, not many storms yesterday, but there were a few up in far northwest Oklahoma. We were tracking the storms. We had uh, Marty Logan. We had Val and Amy Castor. We had uh, Brandon and Sammy, our storm trackers, up there monitoring these storms. Now, they didn't really get all that big, bad, or ugly, but they did have some really cool cloud structure. And so they took their video and they put it in time lapse. And so it really shows the motion on that. So we had some really neat storms. Check out this next shot here. Look at this. That spiraling motion, the whole storm is rotating, spiraling there. And this is rotating storms. It's the ones that can generate very large hail and also tornadoes. Fortunately, none of that happened yesterday with our storms. We did dump some good rainfall there, and that was from far, parts of far northwest Oklahoma yesterday. Now, there were some storms up into Kansas that were kicking up their heels, and a lot of severe weather there late yesterday, really much of the day yesterday into the overnight periods from Goodland, Dodge City, down to Wichita, all the way south of Kansas City over into Missouri. So we had mainly wind, hail, uh, do see one little tornado report there. This is mainly a wind hail event from yesterday, mainly north of Oklahoma. Questions, will that kind of weather linger into your holiday weekend? Right now for Mother's Day, I don't think so, but it does look wet. We've got graduation, OU, OSU, and UCO graduating on Saturday. That's going to be combined with some wet weather, rainy, uh, stormy, kind of some waterlogged conditions, more than likely Saturday. That will go on into to Mother's Day uh, Sunday with more rain and storm chance there. So the weekend looking wet. Have your news time weather app open and keep it ready to go as that will be a possible. Possibility. Okay, so the question also, if you're going to mow, are you going to mow today? Well, you're going to have some good hours, maybe a few hours that aren't quite so good, so we'll call it an up to you. Thursday, also an up to you, is we'll have some isolated or scattered PM storms. Those could be severe, and it's going to Friday. I think right now looks pretty good. Saturday, though, is a no-go with that rain moving in. 67 right now, east winds at 7. Forecast starting off mild this morning with some 60s around. It's going to be mild through, through uh, 8 o'clock this morning. 75 here at noon and then climbing up to 81 by 4 o'clock today. Some we'll call them widely scattered storm chances going into lunchtime. More of a scattered chance going into the afternoon. Doesn't necessarily look severe, but some Hi, uh, higher rainfall with those storms and some lightning possible. May see a little small hail. Southeast winds today about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Some 60s around. Miles start this morning. Let's check the upper air pattern. We're in kind of an unstable pattern as rain and storm chances continue. Tomorrow's weather as the storm starts to move out is what I think our best chances for severe weather will be. So be paying attention to tomorrow. More on that coming up in just a moment. Chances really diminish. There'll be a chance on Friday, but diminishes. But a more likely chance comes in on Saturday. See all that rain across our region. More rain on the way into Sunday. By late day, that starts to shift off to the east. And then our pattern starts to change a bit. There'll be a big ridge building. And most of our flow will be from the northwest. And that'll start shoving activity down away from Oklahoma as we go into next week. So chance of rain going up. It'll be scattered off and on again chances through the weekend with our most likely chances Saturday and Sunday and the next week most spots will be drying back out. So some 80s for most spots today, 70s where the rain and storm chances look more likely. There's a rain chance today, scattered chances central, likely chances on into the east and if there's any chance of severe weather out toward the panhandle, slight chance there take you into tonight. 60s for lows overnight tonight and as we go into tomorrow, 70s, 80s, some 90s on the way. We'll be tracking more storms on the way tomorrow. Chance of the, with some rain in the morning and then storms go up tomorrow afternoon and evening. Watch these storms kick in. Severe weather going up. Baseball size hail. Winds 75. Tornadoes will be possible and the threat is going up. So be paying close attention tomorrow late afternoon and evening. Threat for that. Large hail, maybe up to tennis to baseball and also some strong winds up to near 75. And that zone does include Oklahoma City. 80s, then 70s with more rain chances continuing. Best chance of rain will take you through the weekend with highs in the 70s.